Hey guys, so this is me doing my set of nails. Uh, this is my table set up. Um, this picture is my nails uh, at the beginning. They're so here I go. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm removing the existing product so I can begin my rebalance. I have to remove approximately, I'd, I'd say between 75 and 85% of the product. So I'm just going to remove that product um, just by filing. Uh, you want to be careful that you don't file too much into the natural nail, but concentrate your filing just on the acrylic. So this is what my nails look like after they've all been buffed down. Um, not a pretty look, but you have to remove the majority of that product. If you leave too much of the product on, your nails at the end are going to be very thick um, and quite unsightly. So this is me beginning my um, application. So I have already prepped my nails, I didn't show you that in the video, uh, but the prep um, included applying um, a isopropyl alcohol based product called Nail Pure. This is going to dehydrate the nail and remove any moisture. Then after that I have then put on a primer. Uh, the product I'm using is NSI Attraction. It is by far the most superior product I feel that I've ever used. I've got um, pretty much no lifting whatsoever and my nails were over four weeks old so I'm really, really happy. Okay, so what I'm doing here guys is um, I'm applying my white uh, NSI Attraction Powder um, and then I am just smoothing out my smile line. Um, just a nice rounded smile line as you can kind of see there. Uh, after my smile line, uh, so that smile line there is uh, one of usually one of three balls. My first white ball is, is obviously ball number one and then the stress area behind that uh, where I put my second ball. I like to have that a little bit thicker. Now the reason I want it thicker is I want uh, there to be an apex in the nail across that area just at the back there uh, behind the white area. We want that thicker because that's where we need our strength. Um, otherwise we're going to get our nails breaking. Now how I am uh, achieving that nice smooth smile line, I'm removing all extra liquid from my brush by brushing, uh, wiping it onto a, um, a lint free wipe and then I'm just slowly working at the edge to make it really, really uh, crisp, a real crystal clear cut smooth line. I don't want it to be blurry or, or um, mess or anything. I want a really perfect smile line. And as you can see there, I've just applied the pink over the back. Um, that is an attraction powder also. Now, I don't want to get that pink too close to my cuticle area. If I get it too close to my cuticle area, I am going to have the potential of lifting. So I want to apply that product as close as probably about, about half a millimetre away. Uh, is, a good, is a good area and we don't want it to be too thick in that cuticle area we do want that to uh, taper down into the cuticle area so that uh, it, it can be filed away quite smooth if you leave the acrylic too thick in that area it's, it, it's, it can be quite an issue you will find that you will get lifting um, almost guaranteed to get lifting so it's very very important that when you're filing that area you do file that area smooth so that when you look at it you can't actually see a ridge of where your natural nail is at the cuticle area, uh, at the cuticle area and where the acrylic starts so that's very very important so this is me actually doing um, I feel a little bit funny doing this uh, this one because this is actually me using my, my left hand and I'm right handed okay so this is the finished look before, before filing so you can see it's a bit thick um, well, not overly thick, but that's just what it's like after you've applied. So now we need to get into our filing. Now I want to taper my file um, at a 45 degree angle to get a nice tapered area. Um, and as you can see, I'm just showing you slow motion um, how I actually do my filing. Okay. And I'll just get into it.
Okay, so this is a close-up of, of um, after I finished filing. Now I want, see, as you can see there, my side walls are nice and straight and parallel. Not too thick on the ends, but it just slightly tapers off the end there. That's my 45 degree angle that my file was at. Okay, and then that's showing how I taper it out and smooth it around the cuticle area. And as you can see, probably about halfway up is my apex, which is my high point. Okay, now I need that high point for strength. It's very, very important to have that, that thicker area for strength. So this is how I get my side walls, nice and straight, nice parallel side walls, so that we avoid having fat nails, what I call fat nails or sand nails. And that's just how I file my end because I like my end square. Obviously, you would alter the way you file the end to whatever shape. Now, this product is amazing. It's called Glaze and Go. It's a gel product that has been specifically designed to cover acrylic nails. Now, this saves all the hassle of buffing. I don't even have to worry about buffing. I pop this on. I put it underneath my UV lamp for a minute and a half. And it is ready to go. It has saved me, I think, between half an hour and 45 minutes per treatment. Um, I put it underneath for a minute and a half, I apply cuticle oil and out the door my clients go. So they're a lot happier because there's less filing and buffing for them. Um, my arms, and I find that I was uh, getting sore arms and sore wrists from filing, and I'm finding that I don't have that problem anymore either. Okay, so I have glazed and goat all my nails, and here are some of my nail art stickers that I got. So um, I just wanted to show you guys what I had. I'm just going to pop a couple on. Just something a little bit pretty. Um, just picking them up with some tweezers, popping them on uh, a coat of glaze and go over the top, and then underneath my UV lamp to cure it. And that little bit of nail out there, that little sticker, that's not going to go anywhere. That is going to stay there until I file that off in three weeks' time when I come to do my next uh, rebalance or back fill, whatever you, what, what you call it. So it's really, really cute. So simple. Just pop a top coat on it, my glaze and go top coat. Now that uh, third one on there, I actually had to take that off because it's slightly curled um, and didn't set properly, so I removed that one. You'll see that in the next image. So getting nice and close there. Beautiful colours, aren't they? Those acrylic powders. That's any sign attraction. It's just wonderful. It's definitely got to be the best product I've ever used. So just a nice coat of the glaze and go, straight over the top there, and as you'll see shortly, oh, actually I don't think I showed putting it in my uh, lamp, but I will put it in my lamp, and that's the finished product, just beautiful, see my nails all finished, I haven't put oil on those yet, okay, beautiful aren't they? Then it's the Nurture Oil, again, it's an NFI product, which I just love. It smells uh, it's a grape, I think, grape and raspberry. Then it's a nail brush I use. I like to remove uh, all my dust using my nail brush throughout my treatment. I don't like dust. So just a nice drop on the critical area of your nail. Now, it's very important to use oil. Um, oil is going to obviously keep your, your cuticles in good condition, but it's also going to help your acrylic uh, stay from becoming brittle. Um, and cracking and, and breaking and things like that. So it's vital that you use your uh, oil every day. So that's my finished look. Um, I'm very, very happy with them. I just like mine relatively short. Um, not totally square. I'd call the shape squoval. A soft square oval shape. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks.